Oh wow! Hello everyone! I hope you're ready for another adventure because Michigan Wayne is here to join you for a fun story. Because today we're gonna read Here's to You America. Yay! Always remember that as we go through these amazing stories and read these fantastic adventures, all you have to do is press the CC button in your YouTube link in order to follow along with the words. Now I think that Ozzy will be perfect to join me for today's adventure. But first, gotta get a little bit more comfortable. Much better. Let's jump in. Here's to you, America. Good grief. In 1787, America was a mess. Winning the Revolutionary War was hard enough. Now, the 13 states were taking their steps towards becoming a united nation. They had to decide on a government, or risk running into lawless lands where no one would be safe. On May 25th, everyone was busy, especially the Peanuts gang. On top of their usual chores, Charlie Brown and their friends had to clean up Independence Hall in Philadelphia, where a secret meeting was being held to create a new government. Linus ran through the door of Charlie Brown's cabin. Come on, we're late. All right, everybody, here are our jobs for the convention, Linus announced. Marcy and Peppermint Patty will be in charge of bringing water to delegates. What's a delegate? asked Peppermint Patty. A delegate is a representative. This convention will have several delegates from each state, Linus explained. Then he turned to Snoopy. You be the watchdog. This secret convention is not open to the public. Only 53 delegates will be here. Linus continued. Lucy, you need to mop the floor. Sally, your job is to see that the inkwells are kept full. Just then, a big white horse trotted up. Charlie Brown took the reins and looked up at the tall man striding towards the convention hall. That's General George Washington, Linus said. He's going to lead the convention. Charlie Brown felt proud even to be near the hero's horse. Without the brave and brilliant general, America never would have won its freedom from England. Unfortunately, Snoopy did not recognize General Washington. He growled fiercely and blocked the door. No, Snoopy, no, let him in, Linus yelled. What's this convention about? Charlie Brown asked Linus. Linus explained that since winning its independence, America had been a loose connection of 13 states. To become a country, the states would have to unite under one central government. The trouble is that some states want different things, Linus said. Some people think that a central government should be powerful. Others think that states should be left to rule themselves. The convention began with a discussion about dividing the government into different parts called branches. One branch, the legislative, would make the laws. Another branch, the judicial, would enforce the laws. A third, the executive, would oversee it all. But how would ordinary citizens participate in the legislative branch? Roger Sermon from Connecticut thought the people should be kept out of government as much as possible. James Madison of Virginia disagreed. He felt that people had to vote for at least one branch or it wouldn't be a free government at all. Linus agreed with Madison. Like a good climbing tree, the American government needed at least one branch close enough to the ground for ordinary citizens to reach with their vote. As the argument heated up, the morning sun beat through the windows and turned the hall into a furnace. Linus's head started to spin. What was fair? What was right? Which system would preserve justice and freedom? Linus suddenly realized he was very thirsty. He figured the delegates must be thirsty too. Linus poked his head outside to call for water. Peppermint Patty and Marcy were ready. At least, they thought they were. The girls reached for their pails. Hey, they're empty, Peppermint Patty exclaimed. Peppermint Patty and Marcy hurried back to the well to refill their pails. Then they raced back to the convention hall. Building a democracy was thirsty work. After many days, the delegates finally decided that there should be two parts of the legislative house, the House of Representatives and the Senate. The people should vote for the House of Representatives, and the number of members would be determined according to the population of each state. But the second half, the Senate, would be different. Members would be elected by state assemblies, and there would be an equal number of senators for each state, no matter how big or small the state was. Some delegates thought the House and Senate needed to be balanced by a single leader, a president, who would head the executive branch. I think it should be a queen, Lucy declared. A beautiful queen. They struggled to decide what kind of leader a free country needed and how that leader should be chosen. Many voices started at once. George Washington pounded his gavel. Linus was worried. They can't seem to agree on anything. I think we're in big trouble, sir, Marcy added. What does it all mean, Peppermint Patty asked. Linus shrugged. They can't work out a compromise. The whole convention may fail. Without laws to protect people, and a system to enforce the laws, our country will be a mess. The arguments went on through the hot Philadelphia summer. Day after human day, week after steamy week, the Peanuts gang witnessed the nation's slow struggle to create its own government. Sally tiptoed between the shouting delegates to fill their inkwells. All delegates cared very deeply about government, 
but did not care enough to compromise and reach an agreement. The Peanuts gang was tired and worried. We've been working at this convention for almost two months, Peppermint Patty said. She had walked over to the water well too many times to count. Do you think everything is going to fail, Linus? Marcy asked. Linus sighed. I hear every day some of the delegates threaten to quit and go home. No one seems to know what's going to happen. Lucy shook her head. If they would just elect a beautiful queen, that would solve everything. But for a long time, nothing was solved. It seemed as if the Peanuts gang would spend the rest of their lives cleaning the convention hall and listening to debates. Three months felt like 30. The delegates had finally agreed that one leader would be elected, the president, not two or three, and not a king or a queen. Now they had to work on the judicial branch. Charlie Brown hoped the delegates would stop at three branches. If they tried a whole tree, this convention would never end. Charlie Brown got his wish. Delegates settled on three branches of government, and on September 17th, Almost four long months after the convention began, they signed a document explaining how those branches would balance each other out. It was called the Constitution. At least, we don't have to carry any more buckets, Peppermint Patty said. Everyone seemed very happy, but Charlie Brown was still confused. That night he asked Linus, what does all this mean? Linus took out a roll of paper. Well, let me read you what they wrote, Charlie Brown. He said, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Linus smiled, and that's what freedom is all about, Charlie Brown. Peppermint Patty said, I bet those delegates are glad to finally go home. Linus sighed, the trouble is their work has only begun. In order to make it into law of the land, the delegates must get 9 out of 13 states to approve the Constitution. That may take months or even years, or it may never happen. Government doesn't seem to be an easy business, Charlie Brown observed. Linus agreed. Freedom isn't a very easy business either, Charlie Brown. But finally, on June 21st, 1788, New Hampshire cast the deciding vote to approve the Constitution. The United States had truly united, and the best has yet to come. In the years that followed, the Constitution helped to keep the American government just as the nation's founders intended, and to make America a land of freedom and justice for all. Oh wow, that was a lot of fun learning about the history of the United States with the Peanuts Gang. What do you think, Ozzy? I like that part too. We'll see you on the next adventure, okay? We'll see you on the next adventure, here with Wayne Reeves. Thank you for joining me, Michigan Lane, for another adventure through reading. Can't wait to see you on the next time. Bye-bye.